Okay, so you're working with Microsoft Fabric, you're working with Power BI, and you, now you've got dozens, hundreds, thousands of assets across your organization have now been all brought together. How do you govern all this stuff? What do you do to manage it? What are the best practices to either get started in data governance, or even if you've been doing this for a while, how can you conform this to enable your organization to work dynamically with data, yet have some reasonable controls and guidance around this? Well, this video, I'm gonna show you how you can do that, and it's not as hard as you'd think. I mean, some of it's gonna be hard. Some of it's gonna be hard. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to implement a lot of it. This this is nice. All right, do the whole YouTube thing. Like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, all that good stuff. And if you, you want to support the channel, become a member. And for as little as $5 a month, you can get early access to all this content, okay? Now, there's a quick little couple slides, but then we're gonna hop over to Power BI. So what are we talking about here? Oh, we are talking about enabling everyone in your organization from the enterprise down to the individual uh, to be able to do anything that they want with data assets, okay? We are talking, how do we put an endorsement around it? Now, we're lucky. There's just basically four levels that we're talking about that kind of line up with this. We've got our master data that comes from the enterprise. Like this is the blessed and true. This is the certified, you know, th this is not just certified, but this is the master data that everyone in your organization should be building all of their analytics and content off of, okay? Next level. This is actually kind of new. So it's, it's kind of nice that we get to have this, okay? So that's our master data. Our next level down, we talk about our departmental certified data sets that are blessed by our departments and are blessed to say, yes, this, this is the true financial information about where we stand as an organization, right? Um, we certify this stuff so that we know that these are the official certified bits of information. Uh, you say to yourself, why isn't it master? Well, Certified will, you know, you want to make sure that you have a contract that goes along with this, but certified is going to be all, almost all built off of master data. What certified is going to do is it's going to enrich it, add business logic, add some very uh, like hard and fast rules for how that master data is massaged or presented to people. Okay, so that's the certified data sets. What we're gonna have underneath that, that's gonna be your promoted data set. That's for the teams. So as teams are working with data and they come up with the data set that's useful for that individual team to be able to do things and to have consistent metrics between Sally and Sal, um, they want to use that promoted data set, okay? And then the last item is the like straight up just like ad hoc analytics that are gonna go on, right? And this is gonna be like your Christmas, who attended the Christmas party, uh, you know, those types of, of things, right? They're temporary, they're fleeting. Maybe they're just for individual question or reference, right? Now, pretty easy. Oop, uh, uh, don't go backwards, never go backwards. We're only going forwards, okay? <laughs> um, but okay, so that that is uh, the, the presentation, but let's get in and let's see what this actually looks like, okay? So we can see that we've got certified uh, items, we've got master data, we've got promoted data, and then we've got our ad hoc data. All of these are visible right inside of my individual window here, okay? So I can see those here. Now, notice, well, in this case, uh, I, I'm looking at uh, a lot of reports or apps or semantic models, but the same thing is true. And the endorsements are true for things like data flows and warehouses and, uh, you know, virtually everything in fabric can get tagged in endorsement level. Okay. Now, one big thing that you need to have is inside the admin portal, I'm going to open it up. There is a toggle for master endorse mat master data. Now, this is something you need to turn on, but make sure that you have locked this down, okay? You wanna define who's able to go in and define those master data sets, right? You don't want this open to everyone. Again, 
That's for that high level enterprise space, right? So those master data sets get identified by the fabric admins in this case, okay? Now, what about certified though? So let's go look at endorsements. Uh, endorsement. Oh, where, there's the endorsement there. Oh, where's endorsement? Oh my gosh. Huh. I think that's the same setting for the certified too. Where is it certified? Certification. There it is. Okay. Interesting. Uh, it should be called endorsement, but hey, you know what? Fine. <laughs> All right. So in the certification, you want to have, oh my gosh, we don't want the whole organization to do that. We want a very specific user group that could do this. This is going to be my fabric admins again. Okay, I'm going to set that as my fabric admins. I'm going to apply that so only fabric admins can go through that certification. And what I want to have right here is I want to create a documentation around what does it mean to have a certified da data set. And then I want to document that and I want to put that into like a SharePoint site or team site or wherever it is and have that URL be right here so that people can always go to this dedicated place so they know you know, what it means to be certified in your organization, uh, what the certification process is like, who to contact to go into that. A lot of companies, and this is no joke, a lot of companies will actually set up a review board to review the certification requests, approve them, and then on either a quarterly, semi-quarterly, or, or semi-annually, or annually basis, go through and review the certified data sets to ensure that they're meeting that high level of quality, okay? Now, that all depends on the size of organization you're in. If you're in... Uh, a small business with a hundred people and it's, you know, five people that are building out stuff. This is too, you know, this is going to be too much for you. But if you work with a few dozen analysts or a few dozen data engineers, like this type of thing can be really important so that we keep security and, uh, um, uh, we understand the quality and the value of our data. Okay. Now promoted data sets are just going to be part of their, uh, our environment. I'm going to head over. I'm going to quick show you how and where you can go in and find those things. So I'm just going to go to my report workspace here real quick. And I'm going to go in and look at uh, some of my reports that are out there. Let's see here. I've got my certified report here. I can find this under my settings for the given report. And if I scroll down, we'll actually see the endorsements here, okay? So endorsements, we have our none, promoted, and certified, okay? Please note, there's no such thing as a master report, okay? There's only certified reports that go out there, so it's none, promoted, certified, okay? Uh, data sets, uh, or semantic models, warehouses, those things can be tagged with endorse. But you just go in, choose which level, you know, if it's promoted or certified or none, whatever it happens to be, click on the little save button that's down there and you can't see it, but you just click on save and then you're up and ready. Okay. All right. So the actual act of enabling these things and turning these on pretty straightforward, right? A couple of toggles in the admin portal, have your admin AD group there, uh, and then you just go into the, each items and you set them. The difficult part is going to be, you know, getting adoption, getting people to be participating in this, right? So make sure you've got, kind of got your documentation together. Like, what does it mean to have a certified uh semantic model? What about a certified warehouse, certified SQL database, right? All of those things that are in Fabric have documentation up there about what it means to be master. What does it mean for certified? Uh, what do we like to see around promoted? Make sure that it's publicly available inside your organizations. Um, heck, use ChatGPT to generate this, these standards uh, uh, you know, you can come up with some pretty good contracts to get people up and running. And in fact, you know what, maybe that'll be one of my next videos is we'll go through contracts. So, um, 
Thank you so much for joining. I hope this makes sense. If you got questions, do the YouTube thing. Leave the question down below. Let me know what your questions are. I'm happy to answer them. Um, and, you know, like it, subscribe it, share with your friends and family and talk about it in your business. And uh, hit me up on LinkedIn or X if you want more information. All right. You have the best day ever. And I truly mean that. Have the best day ever. Okay. Peace. If this is a lot for you, I get it. I know, I know it's a lot, especially the contracts, getting people to buy in. All that stuff's hard. If you want help, though, I got you. All right, head over to bakertilly.com slash digital. Click, there's a little link to click to get help and myself or someone else to reach out to you to say, help, I need help with fabric or Power BI or whatever. I, well, we got you, all right? But if you think you could do this, and I know you can, check out these two videos to help yourself on the way to becoming a data guy.